Hey folks, Mike and McGee here. In today's video, we're going to pull out something and I'm going to see if you can guess what this is. It's long, it's lean, and it's mean. This is something that's been causing us some problems around the homestead. And we, Mr. David, actually caught this animal. We've been losing kittens. If there's anything that comes to mind when you're losing kittens, it's Bobcat. He caught this thing in a trap, and I'm telling you what, we're happy, our house cats are happy, and there's one thing about Bobcat meat. It's the best meat in the woods. Period, hands down, no doubt about it. Best meat in the woods. We have eaten lots of Bobcats, but none on YouTube. It's time for us to rectify that situation. We're gonna lay our Bobcat. We're gonna nestle our little Bobcat right down in here. We're gonna start with a good amount of salt. Gonna hit it with a little garlic powder. Gonna come in here with some ranch powder. off with camp dog seasoning. Now at this point it's time to wrap this baby up. I really enjoy cooking wild meat in aluminum foil. It sure does. Hold that moisture in. This little boy did not have any fat to spare on him. And I bust his leg through. I'm gonna have to wrap that right quick. We're gonna do about a quadruple layer here and just seal that up there, squeeze that in there. That will save steam from shooting out that hole where that leg poked through. All right, we got our oven up to 300. This is a wood cook stove. Slide that berth in there. Look here. I love it. I absolutely love it. And we're gonna get this thing cooked and get it on the table and see how it is. All right, it's time to get this bobcat out. I'm gonna use cast iron as a trivet here. Let's get him out and see how it is. Oh, it smells good, I'll tell you right now. Smells real good. Now, I usually don't open these up, and I tell you not to, but I gotta see if it's tender because there's no use of letting it come down in temperature if it's not tender. It's hot, let me tell you. Oh, is it ever tender? Is it ever tender? I cannot believe it. Look at the meat that hung on there. Oh, folks, it's gonna be a minute because we gotta let it cool, but we're in for a treat. All right, boys, have y'all been waiting long? Yes. I'm sorry. I got back as quickly as I could. Let me open her up for you. Look how warm it is. Oh, the steam ain't just flying out. It is steaming, but not as it was. Boys, that's a whole bobcat. Look at that. You want to talk about the bone falling out, just falling off the bone. That's incredible. Ooh. Take your fork and cut that meat off. Cut that meat off. Just press, press down, press down. Hold it. Awesome. This is yours, man. That's all you get. <laughs> no, we actually have to eat this whole bobcat so we can have some wild pork for supper, see? I cut out some wild pork copa steaks and they looked great. So we've got to eat this up. Y'all go ahead. Uh, I did not stuff it with sausage. What's in it? Nada. Nothing. Huh. Make sure you had to do it. Just grab what you want, twist it, pull it out. Oh boy. Oh, it looks good. Oh, we 
we could have actually let this cool down a little bit more, but there is a thunderstorm rolling in on a big time right now. In just a matter of minutes, it's gonna be so loud with rain and thunder that we won't get a good video. So, hey, we're gonna eat this. Eat this while it's hot. Caleb, do you think you can eat all that? Ah, oh, sure. That meat is very light in color, tender. I've heard multiple people say this is the best meat in the woods. I, ha I have a hard time fighting that. I mean, that, according to this piece that I'm eating right now, ain't that something? Mm -hmm. Wow. Not uh, not chewy. Some wild meat, when you cook it, it becomes somewhat tender, but it's still at the same time a little chewy. The way a turtle kind of is sometimes. Not this. This here is the shoulder. You can see the shoulder blade here. It's piping hot. Mm. There's some thunder. Folks, I'm telling you, it's unbelievable. Tender. Does that remind you of chicken? Mm. It's like squirrel. If you know what squirrel tastes like, it's a dead on ringer for squirrel. Yeah, it's like squirrel. Tastes like a kitty kitty. <laughs> Meow, and I don't know what happened. <laughs> that is unbelievably good. What do y'all think about the seasoning with the camp dog and the? Perfect. This is ranch powder, salt, garlic, and camp dog. Mm, that's really good. Mm -hmm. I would have never guessed it had ranch on it if I didn't know. How would you describe the meat if somebody was asking you and they never ate it before? I don't know. <laughs> <It's> good. <laughs> we have to describe it for these people. They can, I'd say if 5,000 people watch this video, maybe 10 of them had Bobcat. Maybe not even that many. So we got to describe it to them. It's absolutely unbelievable. I would say if you never had squirrel, if you've had a farm raised chicken, an old rooster that was raised out in the farm that you slow cooked in a crock pot that you got tender and delicious, it's close to that. Several of you probably tried that. you have anything to say to a fine fellow that's a trapper, a fellow trapper in Kentucky or up in Saskatchewan? Because we have two trappers that watch for sure. Yeah. So, if you trap a bobcat and you sell the fur, you definitely eat the meat. That's right. It is way too good to throw away, I tell you. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. I'd say it's better than the otter we ate. Mm -hmm. Better than the coyote we ate. Better than the fox we ate. I don't know if it's better than possum though, boys. It's it's just neck and neck with possum. Would you say it's good, boys? Yeah. Probably in the top 10 of anything we've ever ate for you. So folks, we're gonna get on out of here. If you get a chance to try you one, definitely try it. But we're gonna get out of here for now. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.